Um, welcome to our second prediction for today. It's uh, seven plus odd um, games. And I mean, yesterday was really, really good. Yesterday was really, really good. Um, if you guys edited the seven plus odds I provided yesterday, seven matches, seven plus odds. If, if you edited it, you probably won because I was a little bit skeptical about that PSG Borussia Dortmund game. And what did I do? I did uh, Borussia Dortmund to score a goal. So the only game that spoiled the seven plus odds was that team from Tunisia um, playing out a one-one draw instead of a straight win. So it, that's a very high level of accuracy rate, if you ask me. Six out of seven games were successful on that ticket. Today, too, I have taken time to analyze, I think, six matches as well. They give seven plus odds. And my encouragement to you, right, my encouragement to you right now would be to select some of the best matches you are comfortable with. I'm going to take you guys through the analysis. Select some of the matches you are comfortable with. Or if I'm saying 2.5 goals, you can do 1.5, right? The ones that I'm saying straight with, you can double chance. There's a very good chance that if you do that, you win the 7 plus odds. You can de-risk it to 4 odds and win, which is still good. You feel me? So, um, and I want to appreciate you guys for all the um, helpful comments you dropped in the uh, comment section. I've read all your comments that I should continue with this format. There's also the comments about me um, showing the predictions on the screen. So I want to ask you, do you people have a challenge understanding my Nigerian accent? I have a Nigerian accent, which I'm proud of, obviously. But um, is it a problem? Do you struggle to understand me? Please let me know. That's one. And then two, um, the biggest issue with displaying the predictions on the screen is it takes some time. And, you know, uh, more often than not, I have other things to do. And usually it's two videos a day. So that's the only challenge that I'm having. It takes time to process uh, those uh, um, online display but if you guys are really really struggling with my nigerian accent that you often struggle to understand the things i say then i may be forced to take some time to write out the predictions please it's very important i, I appreciate your feedback every time i read every single comment okay that you people drop so without wasting time let's get into it the very first game we have is from the sebia super league if you guys remember, I made a prediction on a Serbian league yesterday that it was going to produce 2.5 goals. I was very confident, and it did. So today's game, too, will also do 2.5 goals. This team, as you can see, they're averaging 2.5 goals at home. TSC away from home is also averaging 2.5 goals. More often than not, their meetings do produce 2.5 goals or more. So what, what am I prediction, predicting? Sorry, 2.5 goals, but... To be on the safer side, you guys can do 1.5 goals. That too should be okay. If you want to de-risk, you can do 1.5 goals. That too can work. So uh, the odd for 2.5 goals is 1.51. The next fixture is from the Denmark First Division Promotional Group. It's Sonder, Sonder, Sonders. I'm not going to cut my tongue. My village people sent this team for me. I won't cut my tongue pronouncing them. Uh, the team they are playing is Fredericia. So this home team, as you can see, they're averaging a minimum of 1.5 goals at home. And they've also won three out of their last five home matches. Isn't that interesting? The away team, on the other hand, have lost twice away from home. And they've only won three away from home. They've only won twice away from home. Not good enough. When you check their head-to-head, their head-to-head shows that more often than not, uh, they wait, the home team has been winning, and also they, they also lose sometimes. So we need to check the standings to understand what this game would mean for the home team. The home team, as you can see here, is position one. Uh, the season will soon wrap up, and as you can see, it's the very tight title race. 
If they lose today, the second place team will have an advantage. So they have to win. So for this game, I have two predictions. You, if, 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 if you have the guts, you have the balls, you can play straight with for them. Alternatively, you can also double chance. The double chance market is good. still looks good for them. So the point I'm trying to make is if you want to play the straight win for the home team, the odd is 1.47. If you want to double chance, the odd is equally good. So, But I'm going with the option of a straight win, and the odd for that is 1.47. The next fixture is from the Saudi Arabia Professional League. It's a game involving Al-Ali and Daman. As you can see, Al-Ali is averaging a minimum of two goals at home. Okay. Then you have Denmark that is also averaging a minimum of two goals away from home. Their head-to-head -head shows that this fixture always produces 2.5 goals or more whenever they play. You can also check their standings to understand what this game would mean for Al-Ali. Al-Ali is at position three. They want to consolidate on this second position so they can play in their Champions League. And the other team is position eight, trying to climb up. So the point I'm trying to make is this is going to be an interesting fixture that we'll see goals. So I'm predicting that this fixture will produce over two goals. You can also play 1.5 goals. It's going to enter as well. So the odd for over two goals is 1.34. The next fixture is from the Europa Conference League. It's a game involving Fiorentina and Club Brugge. Fiorentina has won three out of its last five matches. They're a very strong and competitive uh, team in Europe, especially in Italy. Then you have this Belgian team um, that is also doing well. But then, as I said in my previous video, you can't really compare the strength of a team from Belgium with an Italian league with a team from the Italian league. Fiorentina plays in the Champions League most of the time. And this is a game we expect Fiorentina to win. So the, we have two predictions for this game. If you have the balls to play, if you have the beliefs, you, what you can do is you can go with Fiorentina to win in 90 minutes. So the odd for a straight victory for Fiorentina is 1.78, 1.78. But again, you can also double chance. And the double chance market for Fiorentina equally looks good, and you'll be fine. As you can see, Fiorentina has only lost how many times? They've only lost twice in 10 games, and they lost to teams that are in the top three in their leagues. The next fixture we have is from the Bulgarian Cup semi-final. It's a game involving Herba and Ludo Gretz. Uh, this home team is averaging 2.5 goals at home. Ludo Great is also averaging 2.5 goals at home, as you can see. Head-to-head uh, -head shows that every time they've met, this fixture has produced goals. So this is a game that will produce a lot of goals. And as you can see, the first leg uh, ended 0-4. That is Ludo Great beating them by four goals to zero. So for this fixture, based off on their goal scoring form, we are going with the option of 1.5 goals. And the odd for over 1.5 goals is 1.17. And the final fixture is from Iceland. Uh, and it's a game involving, it's, it's actually Iceland Women League. Uh, it's a game involving Phil Kirk Women and Kevlavik. Women, they really want me to twist my tongue. My village people sent them. They won't work. I won't twist my tongue. Eh? So as you can see, um, the home team is averaging 2.5 goals at home, as you can see here. The away team is also averaging 2.5 goals away from home. Head to head shows that this fixture consistently produces goals. So we are going with the option of this game producing 1.5 goals. There will be more goals but we are going with 1.5 goals since it's an obscure league. So the odd for over 1.5 goals is 1.16. And of course, we have the booking code for your benefit. Please do well to like this video, do well to share with friends, join our Telegram channel, and see you guys tomorrow.